channel. If you're new here and this is your first time stopping by, welcome. My name is Cherish. I'm so happy that you decided to stop by and click on this video. I truly do hope that you guys enjoy it. Also, if this is your first time here and you have not done so already, make sure you guys go ahead and hit the subscribe button. As always, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and comment down below and chat with me because I love to have you guys chatting back and forth or with me in the comment section. Also, we made it to 1K, you guys. With all of your guys' help, thank you guys so, so much. I made it past, I actually surpassed 1K subscribers and I'm super duper happy, super thankful. I've screenshotted it and everything. Me and my husband, we've been celebrating it and just been watching the numbers grow every single day and how much you guys are commenting on the video and letting me know congratulations and giving all the well wishes for our family and just saying how much you guys enjoy the house tour and just all the content that I've been bringing lately and I'm really really thankful and I'm so happy that all of you guys are tuned into my videos and my channel and just subscribing it really really means so much to me so I just want to give a huge shout out to you guys for getting me there because I knew eventually I was gonna be able to do it but I definitely didn't think it was gonna come as fast as it did. So shout out to you guys and thank you guys so, so much. It really means a lot. As you guys can see by the title of today's video, I have like another haul for you guys. So you guys see these bags behind me. You know that we're still furnishing this place and everything clearly, you know, I'm still sitting on the floor. <laughs> But I bought more goodies and more things for the house that I really wanted to show you guys. I'm also gonna give you guys like a quick update around the house, our furniture that we finally purchased, things that's going on with our interior designer. I did get a desk and a chair and everything in my office, so I wanted to show you guys that. And then also wanted to chat about the furniture that we got, um, my ideas that I have for the house, where they're going, and just to get you guys' opinions and just what you guys think on the house. So this haul is from At Home and Pottery Barn. Let's start with At Home first because um, I got most of the stuff from there. I found these at At Home and this is like a glass jar, canister, and then it has the wooden top, which is perfect. The exact vibe that I'm going for. So this is how it looks up top, around. I was able to get four of these because I need them for like brown sugar, um, flour, you know, all those things that you need a big canister for. I got this. It looks much lighter on the camera, but it's like a blue little vase. And I thought it was really cute. This can go like on a coffee table that we're getting or the end table that we're getting to go on the side of the couch. And then I got this basket. So this is what I'm going for in the pantry, you guys. So it has the black with this. This was $17.99, I forgot to tell you guys. And then um, these glass canisters that I got were only $10. So that's the cheapest that I found them. It's a five piece airtight bamboo lid set. So let me show you guys what it looks like. I'll open it. Oh, wait, this is plastic. And I had literally just said that I couldn't find plastic ones with the wooden lids, but this is plastic. That's perfect. <laughs> so I need to find more of these. But y'all, this is what I need. And it has the wood top. Literally, all the ones that I've seen on Amazon have been glass. I have yet to see a plastic one like this. So I'll just keep checking back at, at home or probably check another one to see if they have more of these, but I love it. Then there's like a smaller one. I think two of them are this size. Same size. So, oh my gosh, I'm really happy about this. I'm definitely keeping these. <laughs> so these little balls, to go inside of a tray on the coffee table. And this one's really cute. They're like a darker blue. I'm incorporating like a darker navy tone or darker blue, just because it kind of balances out all the light colors that I've been getting. So I figured it would be okay to add in like a little bit of dark blue and then like a little bit of black and what we're doing. And we got a little bath mat 
I don't really use these, but we got this because the kids keep slipping and falling in their tub. Like the tubs are really, really slippery. So when they're taking baths, Shiloh, she has to fail like a lot of times and she's very sensitive. So she'd be screaming her head off. So we got some of those or one of those. This is just another one of the canisters that I got. I got a set of these towels just because they were cheap and then I needed some extra ones. I found these that I really loved um, as well and this in this like bluish color with like little white and black speck marks. So just some cookie sheets and baking pans. This one was $10 and then I kind of got like the whole little set. So a 9 by 13 and a 9 by 13 cookie sheet. 10 by 15 inch as well, same color. I also got me this one. So this is like those little glass bottles for your oil and vinegar. So I already have one for um, oil, so I think I'm gonna put my vinegar in this one. And yeah, the oil one that I already have is kind of like, um, it's like boxy, so I thought it would be cute to have two different ones next to each other. So the last thing I got from at home was a mat. We got this one, and how cute, I loved it because the pattern was very different and it has all of the colors that I'm going for in the house. And I just felt like it just, having this in front of the house when people first come in, it kind of like sets the tone. So when you walk in and you see all of these colors incorporated into the house, I thought that would be cool. So this is gonna go on the bottom. This one here is just like one of those regular ones. And this is gonna go on top of that blue one there. So I'm gonna show you guys how I put that together on the front door. So let me show you guys what I got from Pottery Barn. I don't know why they still have Merry and Bright bags. I mean, we are well into the new year <laughs> and they're still giving out Christmas bags. So I saw these on display literally in the store and I loved how they had them displayed on the coffee table. They're just like little glass jars and I feel like you can put a candle in here, either a real one or a fake one. I would probably put a fake one because if you put a real candle, it will like probably burn the sides and take away from the whole look. So maybe like some little um, battery operated ones to go in here and then light it up. That would be really, really pretty. So I got three of these um, in different colors. And then I have this lighter beige color and it's a smaller size, like a darker brown color. And aren't they so pretty? I love them. And they were only $16.50. The smaller one was $12.50. So let me put them all together so you guys can like get the vision. So how cute is that? How pretty does this look together? I'm just seeing them right next to each other. So I may play around with some things, but this lighter blue, with the darker blue next to each other. It's giving very coastal yet homey, cozy vibes. And I really like it, so that's pretty. And then I got six napkins to go in those, or to go with those gold napkin rings that I showed you guys. And it's very great quality, it's like a linen. So I got these. <laughs> that live right across the street from us, they literally came over and they gave us a warm welcome today. They brought us, basically they brought us groceries, but they brought us two HelloFresh boxes. How sweet of them was that? So they came over, they introduced themselves and they welcomed us to the neighborhood and they brought these two boxes over. So I'm excited to see what meals are in them. Um, but yeah, I thought that was really, really sweet and very nice. So here's what we have so far. I got this chair from at home and then I also got this pillow from at home too. And the chair, I think it was like 150 and it took like five minutes to put together. And I love how on the bottom, it's like a goldish brown color. So it's definitely matching. 
and it's the vibe that I'm going for for my office. And then my desk is from Target. This desk is really great. David put my desk together. He has his laptops in here because he's been working in here as of lately until his office is done. But yeah, it's a very great size um, drawer that it came with. Um, and I have like my notebooks and stuff in here. And over here I have my weekly little pad. So this comes in handy as well. And then I got this clock from Target too. I think it was like $15 and I thought it was really cute. I mean, who doesn't want a clock in their office on their desk? And then I got this lamp from at home and it's very bright, so it lights up the whole room. Um, and then it also came with like a little USB port, so if I need to charge something, I can do that. And then I got some markers and my pens. I don't know where they are, but I got this from at home and it's gold. And then I got this one from at home as well, just something so that I can put my stuff in. So I'm definitely gonna link everything down below for you guys in today's video. The stuff from at home, I will try to link, but I don't know if I can because at home is kind of, kind of like at home goods and what you find there is what you get. They may carry some of the stuff online, but it's like a hit or miss. But I will definitely link the things that I got from Target. I will link this chair if I can. I will also link my desk. But yeah, so that's my little office that I have. What do you guys think about it so far? Comment down below, let me know. I wanted to chat with you guys a little bit about um, like what's to come. We ordered our couch and we also ordered our accent chairs that'll be going inside of the living room. And then I wanted to tell you guys, so you guys all know in my last video, I talked about how um, we had an interior designer, but unfortunately we decided not to follow through because we had our first meeting and it just wasn't really uh, what we thought it was gonna be. So we decided not to do it. Um, and we decided that basically um, we could do it on our own because it was virtual and the things that she was doing was literally what I can do like on Canva. So I was just like, um, yeah, let's just save the money, put everything together, find the pieces that we want because ultimately we know what we want like in our home. Like we also needed to be furnished like now. So we didn't have time to waste. We didn't have any more time to wait. We have guests that will be arriving soon. So it was just taking much longer than it should have been. Um, so that was another thing. So we were like, yeah, we have to, we have to get started. We, we need furniture in our home. Like we're about to be in here going on a month and we still have nothing. Um, that's kind of like the backstory on, you know, the update with the interior designer. So yeah, we decided to furnish this house by ourselves. So everything that you guys see, like the dining table, the dining room, all that stuff, it's all us y'all. That's us picking out this stuff and putting everything together and bringing our vision to life. Everything is supposed to be getting delivered within the next few weeks. Um, we're still waiting on our dining table that's gonna go over there. Um, that should be coming next week. Shiloh's bed comes next week. So guess what? Y'all won't see it in today's video, but you'll see it in the next video. I am gonna be painting rooms today. So I need to go to Lowe's and go grab the paint and all the paint tools that I need. Um, so y'all will see that in the next video. Actually, the story with our couch is we ordered our couch from Crate and Barrel, like I told you guys. And Crate and Barrel and Pottery Barn, they are so behind on all their orders, right? And the couch that I originally wanted was back ordered until probably like May, April, May. And I was like, oh no, we need furniture. I'm not waiting that long. So literally I clicked one day and then I went and I saw like these new couches that they had, which literally doesn't look too different from the one that I originally wanted. So, and they had the color that I wanted and it said in stock early February. And I was like, I was like, oh my gosh. So we're gonna be having a couch soon y'all it just all worked out so i'm just really excited about that um and i can't wait for it to get here and i just can't wait for the living room to start coming together so if it all goes according to plan it will look really nice 
Yeah, so pretty much the only thing that I'm looking for that I have yet to really find is things for the bathroom. Like, I am literally trying to take my time because I don't want to just be picking up anything and I want things to look how I want them to look. So I have yet to find anything that just be like, wow, I would love to put this in here. So <laughs> I'm waiting to find things and I don't know where else to look. I've looked at at home. I've looked at home goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. I've checked Pottery Barn. I checked Crate and Barrel, but they're really kind of like neutral tone things and I need things that have like blue on them. Um, and I checked Target and I didn't, Target didn't even have anything that I liked. And I was just like, mm. Target usually has everything that I like. Um, but yeah, and I also just checked Bed Bath & Beyond today and I didn't really see anything that like wowed me, but I saw something where I was like, okay, this will work. But yeah, if you guys know any other places that I'm missing that I can get like bathroom accessories from, like to go on the counters and some good bathroom rug mats and stuff, please comment them down below. I will really appreciate it because Especially if it's a store that I can physically go to to look at things and feel like I'm running out of stores to shop at. Uh, but yeah, if it is online, that works too. I don't mind reading reviews and looking at photos. Um, but yeah, so please comment down below and let me know where else I should look. David also ordered all of the stuff that he needed for his office desk, his accent chairs, um, his bookshelves, all of that. So y'all will be really interested to see his transformation of his office because right now this is what it's looking like. <laughs> so he's going for a masculine like executive look in his office. So if there are any men who are watching my videos, stay tuned because his office is gonna look really really nice like my husband he has some great taste but yeah that's pretty much it for today's video so i guess i'll go ahead and close it out here after doing this little chit chat with you guys i hope it wasn't like too much chattiness or talking uh, but stay tuned for the next video as always thank you guys so so much for tuning in to today's video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and join the family also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and thank you guys so so much for getting me to 1k subscribers we're actually at like one 1.2k so i'm really thankful for you guys for that and i'll catch you guys in the next video